Hello people of the internet, today we are here to ask one question. Limbo. <gasps> yeah. what is it Indeed, what is the Warframe Limbo good for? To answer this we will take a look at his abilities in the simulacrum and then take him out into the live environment to display them in action. Limbo is unique in a way in that he has an extra ability that is not bound to the usual four abilities. This is his ability to slip in and out of the rift plane. Limbo, as the name may suggest or may not, is kind of constantly in limbo, being able to slip in between the plane of existence and the rift plane. To do this you simply tap the slide button. On Xbox One this is the left bumper button, on PC I think I had it set to shift. When you tap the slide button you will slide into the rift. If you hold down the slide button you will slide just like any other Warframe. To get back out of the rift simply tap it again. Whilst you are in the rift, anyone outside the rift can see you but cannot attack you. They will fire in your direction but the bullets will fly right past you as they are in a separate plane of existence to you. His main abilities allow him to manipulate these planes to great advantage, so let's take a look at them starting with his first ability, Banish. Banish casts a wave of rift energy that damages hostiles while pushing enemies and allies out of Limbo's current plane of existence. The damage of this ability is not that great, but it does allow you to manipulate enemies allowing you to separate them and send a single enemy at a time into the rift. You can then enter the rift yourself to fight that enemy. It works the other way too if you want to banish an enemy from the rift and send them back into the plane of existence. Limbo's second ability is Stasis. Stasis freezes rift bound enemies. While active, enemy projectiles are arrested in mid air, resuming its trajectory when Stasis ends. This ability allows Limbo to manipulate rift bound enemies even further by freezing an enemy inside the rift. So when used with his first ability you can isolate an enemy and then freeze them so that they cannot fire at you whilst inside the rift, making them an easy target for you. Limbo's third ability is Rift Surge. Rift Surge surges nearby rift bound enemies with rift energy. When killed, the Rift Surge is transferred to a nearby enemy outside the Rift. Surge enemies that leave the Rift perform a Radial Banish. This ability basically manipulates enemies in the opposite plane than you and the enemy you are using it on. If you surge a Rift bound enemy, it will banish them from the Rift and perform a Radial Banish that sends any other enemies outside the Rift into the Rift, and vice versa if you are using it outside of the Rift to start with. It's a tricky ability to get the hang of, but when you do, it's a good way to half the playing field and reduce large amounts of mobs, making them easier to manage. Limbo's fourth ability is Cataclysm. A violent blast of void energy tears open a pocket of rift plane which can sustain itself for a short period before collapsing in another lethal blast. As the description suggests, the ability tears open a pocket in reality in a globe shape, kind of like Frost Snow Globe. This globe, however, sends anything inside it into the rift plane. If you combine this ability with Limbo's second ability, then you can freeze everything inside this globe, making them very easy to take down. Now that we know what Limbo can do, let's take him outside into the live environment to see him in action. First of all, I like to use Limbo for Grenier or Infested Mobile Defense missions. He can be used against the Corpus and Corrupted, but just be aware that they have nullifying enemies that can collapse your Rift Tear and leave you open to attack. The Grenier, however, do not, so in this case I can tear open a pocket of Rift and then freeze anything that enters. This allows me to simply watch the enemies looking puzzled outside the Rift and easily take down any that try to enter, as they will instantly become frozen. You do need to keep an eye on the ability cooldowns as they generally will not last the whole duration of the hack, but you can manage it to keep it up for the whole time when you get used to it. Limbo is also very good in rescue missions. As I explained earlier, his first ability sends enemies into the rift plane. Well, this ability can also send friendly targets into the rift plane too. So you can simply slip into the rift, find the holding cells, slip out of the rift while you hack open the cell doors, and then when you find the hostage, you can use your first ability to send them into the rift. You can then simply join them by sliding back into the rift yourself, and both of you can make your way to the exit whilst being immune to damage. Limbo is also very good for the spy mission on Lua and the derelict vault missions, but I do not want to spoil those for players that may not have reached those areas yet, so I will not show them here. I do have videos on how to cheese both of these missions with Limbo up already, so if you would like to see those, the links will be in the description below. Now that we have seen what Limbo can do, you may be wondering how to get your hands on him. Firstly, you will need to unlock the junction between Jupiter and Europa. 
This will grant you the quest The Limbo Theorem. This quest requires you to do a number of missions in your Arcwing, so you will need to ensure that you have that and are ready to use it. If you are, then you can continue through the quest. Each portion of the quest will grant you a Limbo part that you will need to craft to advance the quest. Once you have the Neuroptic chassis and systems built, you can then get the blueprint from the marketplace for 35,000 credits and craft the Warframe. So there you go, we have taken a look at Limbo and what it is good for. If you would like to request I make a video like this for your favourite Warframe, then let me know in the comments below and I will try my best to facilitate. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again next time. If you like this video, please consider watching another. Two suggestions will be on screen now. Also, if you have not subscribed already, please do so by clicking the icon in the middle of this screen. Every view and subscription will go a long way to helping the channel grow, and in turn will result in more content for you. Thank you, and until the next time, goodbye.